home and go to bed. But before you do, I want you to repeat after me. What? I am. What? I am. Come on, what's feeling? I am. Somebody. Somebody. Really? This is ridiculous. All right, that's good. Now get up and go home. Beat it. Hi ladies, today's video is on confidence. What is confidence? What does it mean to be confident? So what 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 does Google say? You know, the trusted source, Google, the trusted of trusted. Oh, I'm being facetious. Let me stop. I hope I use that in the right context. But anyway, Google says that confidence is the feeling or belief that one can have faith in or rely on someone or something for example we had every confidence in the staff and the other reason is to do with um, you know trust the telling of private matters or secrets with mutual trust but what we're going for today is the first definition um, confidence confidence in yourself the reason why I thought of doing this video to be honest I wasn't even intending to do a video on confidence today um, today was just to film the video on decluttering but I thought of it because within the space of like um, two weeks last week I had my first session of counseling and the counselor said to me oh you're confident aren't you and I said oh believe me I'm working on it and it's too funny because I was speaking to a friend um, a couple of days ago and she said, oh, you're confident you've got a YouTube channel. And I even said, oh, well, I don't promote it on purpose, you know, and I just thought, you know, this will be an interesting and good topic to discuss. So first of all, I want to talk about um, what would make me more confident. So for me personally, the things that would make, so I've worked on my confidence, thank God, but the things that I know would make me feel more confident is trusting God, um, trusting in him more, believing on his word more, what he says to me, because I've seen him in my life work. He's proven himself to be true. Do you see what I'm saying? So actually believing more in God, seeking affirmation. Um, that would, um, uh, sorry, I made the note there, seeking affirmation. So what I mean to say is when I'm at the point where I know that I'm not like, oh, where's the affirmation where's the so for example i'll say to my husband oh do i look nice why do i look nice do i look nice uh, uh, uh. yeah i understand okay you're gonna ask someone do i look nice but when you kind of like need it or you're feeding on it or even with social media you know the double-edged sword and you put up a picture you're waiting all the likes oh let me check back let me check back and see the likes i'm not gonna sit here and lie yeah if i post a picture yeah on instagram trust and believe i want it to get some likes i don't know how many likes it will get but i want it to get likes so sometimes when i hear some people like oh, oh i don't care about the likes is it okay then maybe you just need to go on a platform where there's like no thumb then because for me if there's a thumb i want to see the thumb highlighted i'm just keeping it real keeping it real loving my smile more i've definitely learned to take more pictures with me smiling because generally pictures when you're smiling sincerely look better but I know I'm not still fully confident in my smile because of my space teeth. And um, I wanted to get braces when I was younger. My mum never got round to it. So, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to get braces at some point. I have started to look into it. So I know that these are the things that would make me feel more confident, like the trust in God, you know, when I'm not seeking affirmation as much, you know, loving the smile and also knowing who I am more. And for me, that's part of the reason why I want to do counselling. For me, I've always been open to psychology and counselling. I've always even wanted to become a psychologist, like to do something in the field of psychology. So for me, there's no shame in counselling. There's never been any shame in it for me. I just, I, I really appreciate the fact that nowadays we have definitely a lot, like we have a lot more people speaking about mental health, but where people have shame attached to it, I, I have no shame. Because for me personally, if you get a cut on your arm or whatever, you're going to nurse it or you'll go to the doctor and you'll say, oh doctor, I've got a cut on my arm or I've got an earache, I've got a, a, a headache. You know, they're trained professionals that you're seeking out for something that they've been trained in the body. So if you've got a problem in your mind, you somehow say, well, I'll seek the trained professional for the body, but I won't seek the trained professional for the mind. So I definitely see a disconnect with that. So that's why I say for me, there's no shame. And yes, God is beautiful. He's amazing. I know that I can pray and um, 
you know give my things to god and all and all that type of thing but at the same time if there are people who he's equipped and empowered who are trained just as the doctors who treat the body what is there with the mind so you know that whole stigma around counseling i think that it's it, for me it's good to see it kind of you know be lessened nowadays i think things in the media like saying oh he's talking to a shrink you know we hear the term shrink and when you think shrink you think shrunk down it's not a positive connotation or in general people just think oh well do you have a are you crazy or something you're going to a counselor or a marriage people wait until the marriage is on the rocks to seek counseling they don't just do it when things are good you know so obviously some people do but you know what i mean so yeah that's a whole yeah little rant you know there on counseling and what feeds into confidence finances financial stability you know I, I was having a really interesting conversation with my husband about this and he i'm sure he would say openly too like as he's learned more about money or uh, and as he gains more and all of those things as we get out of debt 100 percent confidence you know like you those things affect your confidence your finances L let's not get that twisted your health are you in good health you see what i'm saying how are you feeling like even for me personally if i feel like i look too tired i won't do a video and even today i know i'm tired like praise god i've been doing much better in the area of exercise but in terms of sleep lacking <laughs> lacking <laughs> so do you know how i said it yeah it reminded me of i'm not gonna say the word but if you've seen the movie you'll get the joke the lacking it kind of reminded me of has anyone seen Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the neighbourhood? If you've seen that movie when they walk into the shop, I think it's that one. Then you'll get the point of the lacking. It just reminded me of that word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was, it was funny. It was um, that part anyway. But yeah, so basically, that's one for the culture. You know, your health. How do you feel? And do you know what it is that made me say, let me just do the video today? Because I said, Charla, you haven't mastered the bedtime thing yet. You're working on it. But I just thought if I wait until oh I don't look as tired, I probably won't do another video for like all another two months or three months. So I thought just just get on with it. Whoever it's gonna bless, it's gonna bless. And we can't always look a hundred percent, a hundred percent of the time. We can aim for it, but you know, so yeah. It is what it is. Others perception of you. That so that's that's what feeds into confidence. Finances, health, others perception, how much you care about what other people think you know it's important to care like oh, okay i care you know even jesus was like who do men say i am but at the end of the day when it came down to it when he was on that rock and he was bleeding and crying jesus said not my will but yours so even though jesus was asking out a road who do men say that i am he still knew i'm about my father's business so even though the men are going to chat i'm still going to do what i came here to do which is save spread the gospel save healing teaching preaching do you see what i'm saying so it's important to care but you just have to think how much is this going to permeate me and this is why i'm talking about for me really knowing who i am and personal development as well um that feeds into confidence working on your skills your talents yes some people have a natural knack for art and maths and and all these different types of things but you can still work on it like a lot of people forget and i like to use beyonce as an example so many people like to use her as an example and me taking out my Christian mind of, you know, some of the music that she has promoted. When I look at the work ethic, yes, she can sing, she can dance, she can do all these things. But because it's been trained in her from a very young age, she's been able to get better and better and better at these things. So it's not just about the fact that she's like, hello, or singing or whatever. Oh gosh, hopefully that was on key. I really shame myself. I got singing videos on the channel and everything. But you know, when you're doing the who or whatever, like if you're going to be trained, now you can learn how to, oh, I can sing here. I can sing down here. I can sing here. You know, so sometimes we're looking at people like, whoa, they're so talented. No, they're so disciplined. And because of their discipline, they've mastered their craft. So the more you do that, that feeds into confidence. Now, confidence is relative if you base it on changing factors. My husband gave me this good point. So if you base it on changing factors like looks, children, your job, when you lose that job, what is going to happen? When your looks change, what is going to happen? Mothers like me, homeschooling mamas, if you're putting all your confidence in being a mum and all of that, when the children leave the nest, what are you going to do? You just stare at the four walls. Do you have no use now? Oh, you have no use. Well, nobody to mother, nobody to mother. Do you see what I'm saying? So 
when it comes to confidence, you need to base it on things that do not change. And I'm not going to sit here and lie. Like, I definitely put on weight a few months ago and I'm definitely trying to lose it. No word of a lie. Because when I look at my belly, that does not make me feel confident. The fact that I can see little by little by little, the body's changing a bit. That feeds into my confidence. But ultimately, as I said here, confidence is better when you base it on principles. So that's why for me, the principle of Jesus and who I am in Christ, once I base my confidence on that, then I know, yeah, the thing is set. We're good. We're good. Which takes me into the verse of encouragement for the day. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever you know he changes not and i just have to say as well because it's so funny because um my friend one of the things that she mentioned is you know you're confident you've got a youtube channel i'm back to that but i have to say i'm i'm an amateur in this thing right but when it comes to a youtube channel before you see the final video you have no idea how many times the person went hi guys so today oh no cut the energy was dead um, hi, so I'm talking about confidence. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, cut. That was rubbish. I touched it. Oh, oh, I said the wrong word. You have no idea sometimes how many takes a person goes through to say, yeah, this is the end product. Do you know what I mean? So even for me, before I do a video, I have to think, okay, Shala, get your energy. Um, and you see there and get energy. Get, <laughs> get your energy out. You know, feel like, okay, you know, you're in a good, I have to be in a good mood, a good frame of mind. Because we're not always all um, we're not always happy all of the time but that's just to give you a bit of the real do you know what i mean like before you sit here and do a video it takes a lot and even once you do that you still critique yourself i'm here looking at beyonce saying oh she's up there look at the work ethic i don't know the insecurities that she has do you see what i'm saying like you know she could be looking at someone else saying oh wow i wish i had that what they have and again, comparison, if you want to check out my video that I did here about, you know, why jealousy is a waste of time, because I think that also complements this topic as well, uh, you know, of confidence. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share and subscribe and, and you know, just work on your confidence and just build that relationship with God. Yeah. Trust in someone who is never going to change, never going to let you down never going to let you down every single human being is capable of hurting a person we will talk about toxic toxic let go of toxic people sometimes you're the toxic person as well do you see what i'm saying so you know we're toxic we hurt people these things knock our confidence but with christ he can help build us and reclaim who we should be in him and we'll be shining and gleaming and all of that okay then ladies i think i'm happy with this video actually <laughs> all right then bye Sharing the love of God, making a home, learning about the world, while teaching my own, singing songs of life, while feeling free, getting organized, and planning to achieve.